Well, I found this little car on eBay. I never would have thought it would have turned out this way. I've never seen another Maverick quite like this one. I've owned probably over two or 300 cars. To me, but hot riding is old school and new school. I love and enjoy the things I grew up with. And this 1971 Ford is the perfect blend of past and present. You're taking something and making it your own. It's a Maverick. I mean, when's the last time you saw a Maverick done? I've never seen another Maverick quite like this one. It started out probably about five or six years ago. I found this little car on eBay. And then I got to thinking, I've always wanted to run 200 miles an hour. So I said, let's build a car that would do that. To make his dream reality, Jimmy employed the services of father and son duo, Greening. This Maverick ranks very high with all the builds that we've done over the years. On this car, comparing it to the original, from the fender flares up on the car is basically untouched Ford sheet metal and trim around the top. The lines looked great, and we still wanted people to be able to recognize the car and it not look like something else. We still wanted it to be a Maverick. Then from there down, it's all been heavily modified. Probably the best part about the car, to me, is the flares on the fenders. It looks so good, it's not out of place, it doesn't look gawky, and it's a simple change. Today, the Mavericks at the Good Guys show in Columbus, Ohio. Inside, we have the race pack for your speedometer, uh, all your gauges. We have the race seats. We have the roll cage. To be safe, we have quarter inch metal that's been able to make the tunnel. That way we have a transmission explosion, drive shaft come loose, I'm safe in the car. I'm too old to have problems. The car's top speed so far has been 202.7 mile an hour. This one's just kind of been nudged out there a little farther as far as what it can do. Nudged out, you say? I think that may be somewhat of an understatement. They're going to judge it on how it handles out there on the course. They want you to drive the cars. They want you to use it and abuse it. Good. If we could have made a few more passes, I think we could have kept picking it up. And Jimmy loves showing off his unique machine. Oh man, we've had so many compliments. You still have a lot of people come and say, what is that? You know, they don't realize it's a Maverick. They kind of like, man, no one's ever done a Maverick like this before. He made a car perform and look good at the same time. His build qualities are phenomenal. His attention to detail is unmatched. And the car goes over 200 miles an hour. So, I mean, not a lot of people can say that with a build like that. This car is right there at the top of my list of all my cars right now. Just so different. This is something that I never would have thought it would have turned out this way.